These are my Premier League Game Week 14 predictions and betting tips. Guys, if you haven't, please make sure you subscribe. There's about 50% of you that are watching this video that are not subscribed. It's easy. Just go click that button and helps the channel out more than you know. Please leave this video a like as well. Let's try to hit 1,500 likes and drop your predictions in the comments as always. Without further ado, let's get in to that first prediction. First up, we got Brentford taking on Luton Town. Now, both of these sides put in a valiant effort last week out. Brenton losing 1-0 to Arsenal. They really, really made Arsenal work for that one until Kai Havertz scored in the 89th minute. Now, look, they're, they're currently sit 11th in the table. They've lost back-to-back -back games and they're coming up against the Luton Town side who have seemed to find a little bit of form. They're coming off a huge 2-1 win over Palace. They created... So they didn't create that many chances, but they made them count. Jacob Brown scoring the winner in the 83rd minute. They now sit 17th. And they've only lost two of their last five games. So I do think Luton Town could potentially make this a little bit sticky for Brentford. But as we know, they don't travel too well in Brentford or a win. So I'm going for a 2-0 Brentford win here. My betting tip is Brentford to win. <laughs> Next up, we got Arsenal taking on Wolves. Now, we spoke about Arsenal's 1-0 win over Brentford. Yes, not a pretty win. Yes, a 1-0 win. But what Arsenal is showing this season, which they didn't show last season, is that they're able to grind out results this season. And that's exactly how you win the Premier League. They're also coming off an absolutely massive 6-0 win over Lons in the Champions League. So showing that they can pull off those one nilers, but also showing the flair um, and getting that 6-0 win. They now sit at the top of the table again one point clear of Manchester City and they look like a team that could seriously make a run for that title this season again then Wolves coming off a 3-2 loss against Fulham a crazy game very even with plenty of chances on both ends but William uh, for Fulham ended up being the difference in that game Wolves they, they've been in good form. They've been causing upsets here and there. They're just one of those sides who just don't seem to get the rub of the green uh, that often. I don't think they're going to be able to do much against Arsenal. Some people have been saying maybe Wolves will be able to get a draw here, but I just think Arsenal are in such good form. They know how to win. They know how to scrape a win. I think they're going to win this one comfortably. I'm going for a 3-0 Arsenal win, and my betting tip is Arsenal at a handicap of minus one and a half. <laughs> Next up, we got Burnley taking on Sheffield United. 20th taking on 19th. This is an absolutely awful game to, to try and predict, but we are going to try our best. Burnley coming off a 2-1 loss to West Ham in a game they probably should have won. They led all the way up until the 86th minute when they then conceded an own goal and then Suchek scored the winner for West Ham in extra time. Now, like I said, Burnley still sit at the bottom of the table. Um, and they've lost their last five games. Where Sheffield, coming up, uh, coming off a 3-1 loss to Bournemouth, I thought they were going to put up a, little, a bigger fight than they did against Bournemouth, but they got absolutely dominated in the first 50 minutes. Then that was the game set up and done for Bournemouth. But that did break their two-game unbeaten run. Two games, not much. But, oh, sorry, they're sitting 18th now, not 19th. I do think this one will be tight. I think Burnley... They played well against West Ham. I think they deserved a win there. They'll be quite upset about that. And I think playing at home, they should be able to get this done. So I'm going for a 2-1 Burnley win. My betting tip is Burnley to win. Next up, we got Nottingham Forest taking on Everton. Another very, very difficult game to predict in this week's lineup. But Forest... Coming off a 2-3 loss to Brighton, Forrest played a very, very good game. Ilunga getting another goal, but their defense and discipline let them down in that game. They're just another one of those sides. They just can't seem to get on the right side of the results recently. They currently sit 15th with three losses from their four, uh, last four games. And I do think they're missing Tawa Awani up front there, who has been or was quite lethal for them at the beginning of the season. Then Everton coming off that 3-0 loss to Manchester United. They are actually the team that's at 19th now after that 10-point deduction. But coming off that 3-0 loss against United, I don't think that scoreline paints the exact picture of that game. Everton had so many chances. Onana was definitely the difference in that game, and it was a lot tighter than the scoreline suggests. For me, I honestly think this one could go either way. Everton aren't looking bad at the moment. They're in form. Forest are very good at home. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw here, but my betting tip is Everton to win or draw. <laughs> Next up, a big game for the weekend. Newcastle taking on Manchester United. Now, Newcastle coming off a 4-1 win 
over Chelsea. I wasn't sure how Newcastle were going to fare with all their injuries against Chelsea, who seemed to be on a bit of a come up, not much of a come up, but a bit of a come up. Well, they handled pretty well, beat them 4-1. They sit seventh now. They have only lost one out of their last five games, and they're coming off a very controversial 1-1 draw against PSG, where potentially there shouldn't have been a handball in that game. Newcastle potentially should have won. But looking at the stats, PSG had an XG of four and a half goals in that game. So Newcastle defense not doing a great job. Uh, PSG probably just lacking a bit of finishing ability. But for people to be up in arms about that handball and that penalty after you've, after you've conceded an XG of four and a half is a little bit ridiculous to me. The Man United coming off that 3-0 win over Everton. Garnacho scoring probably the goal of the season. Onana had a great performance. Man United now sits six. Just six points off of Arsenal. So all those chats about Man United are done. They dusted. They're right there. A couple of slip-ups from Arsenal and Manchester City and United could be right up at the top of the table. They then played against Galatasaray in the Champions League last night. And as a United fan, it's very, very difficult to watch. They're up 3-1. They let it slip, draw that game 3-3. I mean, what is Onana doing? He came off such a good game against Everton and basically cost uh, Manchester United that game against Galatasaray. But I do think this will be a good game. I'm going to go against the run of player and go for a 2-1 Manchester United win. But my betting to abstain away from the results is a one. Uh, is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, another very interesting game. Chelsea taking on Brighton. Now, Chelsea, we spoke about their 4-1 loss to Newcastle. Sterling scored their goal, but Reese James got a red card, so he'll be suspended for this game. They're now sit 10th. They seem to be in a bit better form than their results suggest. They've only won one out of their last five games, but watching Chelsea, I don't think they're that bad. And I do think Brighton need to watch out here. Yes, they're coming off a 3-2 win over Nottingham Forest. Jao Pedro scoring a brace. Lewis Dunk getting a red card, so he'll also be suspended. But Brighton sit eighth. They're unbeaten in their last four games. They do play Athens in Europa tonight. This could be a tight game, could honestly go either way. I do think a lot of people will think that Chelsea are going to win this game, but I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. My betting tip is both teams to score. Next up, we've got Liverpool taking on Fulham. Now, Liverpool coming off that 1-1 draw against Manchester City. They were trailing 1-0, and then Trent Alexander-Arnold scoring the equaliser in the 80th minute. They now sit third. Just two points off of Arsenal, just one point off of Manchester City. They play in Europa tonight, so it's going to be interesting to see how they fare there. I do think they should get the job done against Lusk tonight. But Liverpool unbeaten in their last six uh, EPL games, and Luis Diaz could be back for this game against Fulham. Now, we spoke about Fulham's 3-2 win over Wolves. A, a ding-dong battle. William was the decider in that game, scoring a penalty in the 94th minute. They sit 14th. That win broke their four-game winless run, but I just don't think they're on the same level as Liverpool at the moment. Liverpool are firing, and they should get this done comfortably. I'm going for a 3-0 Liverpool win, and my betting tip is Liverpool at a handicap of minus one and a half. Next up, we got West Ham taking on Crystal Palace. Now, West Ham coming off that 2-1 win over Burnley. They only managed three shots on target the entire game and for them to steal it like they did against Burnley in the last 10 minutes of the game is robbery but they'll take that win they currently sit ninth they've now got back-to-back -back wins and they're coming up against Palace who are coming off a shock 2-1 loss to Luton Town in a game that Palace controlled most of the game created the better chances but just couldn't put them away it's again the story of Crystal Palace they create chances they don't put them away they lose games they shouldn't which is why they sit 19th they've lost four of their last five games I think West Ham at home should be able to get this done going for a 2-0 West Ham win and my betting tip is West Ham to win <laughs> Next up, we've got Bournemouth taking on Aston Villa. Two teams that are in good form at the moment. Bournemouth coming off that 3-1 win over Sheffield United. Like we said, they dominated the first 50 minutes and then the job was done. They now sit 16th. They've won three out of their last four games and they're coming into some really nice form, as I said. Aston Villa coming off a big, big 2-1 win over Tottenham away from home. It was a pretty open game with chances on both ends. Aston Villa coming back from 1-0 down to win it. They now sit fourth in the Premier League, having a very, very good season. Just two points off of Arsenal. Aston Villa, I do think, should get this done. They got a, a very, very big win against Tottenham last week away from home in a game that I think Tottenham potentially should have put them away. 
it's going to be a tough it's going to be a tough day Bournemouth are in form at home I'm going to go still for an away win and go for a 3-1 Aston Villa win my betting tip is Aston Villa to win <laughs> And finally, we've got Manchester City taking on Tottenham. Now, City coming off that 1-1 draw against Liverpool. Haaland getting the goal. But then they faced Leipzig in the Champions League midweek and found themselves 2-0 down at halftime. Somehow, they found a way to win it in the second half. Coming back, scoring three goals in the second half, winning that 3-2. They now sit second in the Prem after drawing that game to Liverpool. Still very much on, on Arsenal's heels. And then Tottenham, that 1-2 loss to Aston Villa. They've now lost three back-to-back -back games and it doesn't look like it's going to stop here. Tottenham are good going forward, but their defense isn't as good as Manchester City's attack. And I do think City are going to are gonna thump Tottenham this weekend. As we know, we can always count on City to concede a goal at some point in the game. And given uh, Tottenham such attacking style of football, I'm going to go for a 3-1 Manchester City win. And my betting tip is Manchester City to win and both teams to score. Thank you.